If you are using Discord for talking to your friends while playing games online, you will be surprised to know that Discord is actually causing your PC's performance to suffer. To be more accurate, it is limiting your graphics card's memory from reaching its maximum clock speed which is resulting in a performance drop in gaming. This issue only seems to affect Nvidia GPUs, so AMD GPU users don't need to panic. The report comes from Nvidia where they found a bug with the recent Discord update that is supposedly messing up with the GPU memory. What this new bug does is that it prevents your GPU memory clock to reach its maximum clock speed when you launch a game. While we don't know exactly how it disrupts the memory, it is most likely due to the AV1 support that Discord recently enabled for Nvidia's RTX 40 series GPUs. However, it is not only affecting the RTX GPUs but GPUs from the 10 series too. Nvidia is set to provide the fix through an air update very soon but till then it recommends implementing a temporary fix through the GeForce 3D Profile Manager. Nvidia has explained the exact steps you need to follow and I will provide the link to the page if you want a quick fix to this problem. Well this is not the first time Discord users have been facing such problems because this software is known to cause high CPU and GPU usage. It is recommended that you turn off the hardware acceleration from the advanced tab of app settings if it is causing a high GPU usage. But it should be kept in mind that this will result in more load on the CPU. So depending on your configuration, you can turn the hardware acceleration on or off if you see your CPU or GPU getting pushed to 100% usage. Next we have Intel's update on its R control software. After this update, the R control is not just an overlay app but can be configured according to users needs. With this update, Intel R can now support a standalone desktop mode and this should eliminate a lot of issues the app has. The R control overlay had some serious issues like freezes, game crashes, artifacts and problems in turning on. Apparently all of these issues have been fixed with the latest update. Moreover, users can now choose between three options in the window mode that allows disabling the game overlay or even the desktop mode. Intel is now actively fixing all of the major issues with its GPU drivers but it will still take some time to come close to the other GPU manufacturers. The good news is that not only Intel is now focusing on drivers but has also reduced the official price of the ARC A750 from $290 to $250 making it a strong competitor to the RX 6600. The problem here is that it will be much more difficult to find an A750 and users are more likely to go with the 6600 due to better market pricing and better driver support. The next interesting piece of news is about AMD's financial results that it recently published. There are a few things to point out but overall it did better than Intel which had a record breaking loss in decades. AMD's Q4 2022 revenue increased by 16% compared to Q4 of 2021 but this is not because of its gaming or client segments but rather most of the profits came from the embedded and data center. The latter two saw significant growth compared to 2021 where the embedded segment which is largely automotive and aerospace based saw a quarterly revenue of $1.4 billion which is 1868% higher than the Q4 of 2021. The data segment also saw a bigger growth compared to Q4 2021 even though the operating margins were 5% lower than the previous year. However, the client segment saw a significant decline in revenue by 51% and lost $152 million in the operating margin. Fortunately, the gaming segment didn't see a huge loss and mostly because AMD sold a lot of system on chips for consoles in 2022 and that saved it from a catastrophic loss like Intel. However, AMD expects that its first quarter 2023 revenue would be 10% lower compared to the previous year because of the lower consumer demands for CPUs and graphics cards. Lastly, if you have been following PC hardware news closely, the new AMD 620 chipset which is in talks for a few days has got some interesting specs. The hardware leaker ChiliDog just leaked the specs of the upcoming A620 chipset that shows the A620 is devoid of PCI Gen 5.0 support. This was pretty obvious since the A620 is going to be an entry level chipset and we already have a B650 chipset without PCI 5.0 support. However, the A620 is still going to feature 28 Gen 4 PCI lanes from the CPU and 8 lanes from the chipset but these will be Gen 3 instead of Gen 4. There are some other downgrades as well like less support for higher bandwidth USB connection, no crossfire support and of course no support for CPU overclocking. But interestingly, the A620 chipset motherboards will support RAM overclocking which was absent in previous A520 and A320 chipsets. 
However, unlike A520 and A320, the A620 motherboards won't be cheap at all and will sell for $125 as the minimum price. Even though this will reduce the overall cost of the PC build, users are still likely to go with the more expensive B650 motherboards as Ryzen 7000 CPUs are expensive and can only be overclocked with a B650 or an X670 chipset motherboard. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about these recent news. Also, subscribe if you don't want to miss the latest videos on the channel and I will see you in the next video.